Hello everyone, sorry for a very bad lighting because it's really gloomy these days. So without any further ado, let's jump into the talk. So today we're going to discuss about uh, five apps or one is website actually, which are really helpful for the students to yeah cope with their uh, study time and uh, make it a quality study time. So yeah, welcome back to my channel, Show Study Studio. If you are watching me since a long time, you know that my content really works up subscribing my channel i mean <laughs> so please subscribe to my channel and uh, comment down below how did you feel about this video it means watch the video till the end the first app that i'm gonna talk is about space well space is an app that actually controls your phone addiction or phone screen time see usually if we put our phone aside we don't have uh, addiction with the phone but i want to make you people aware of this that uh, aware i mean yeah even if you know it just a reminder that we have addiction with screen time we don't have addiction with phone even if we put our phone aside we have tvs which have internet these days by the way in our, in our school time we used to have tvs with internet <laughs> so it's just a doraemon season by the way uh, this generation kids watch doraemon or you're someone who are from 90s like me and watch doraemon pokemon all those kind of stuff let me know in the comment box below we have addiction with the screen time. So even if you put our phone aside, we start watching series on Netflix, Amazon Prime, or we jump onto any other platform where we can, uh, you know, spend our time really well. So um, if it is not Instagram, then um, putting your phone aside, then what is the use of putting your phone aside? That is my question, actually. So yeah, reduce your screen time instead, uh, instead of just trying to blame your phone all the time that your phone need to be put aside it's not your phone it's the screen time that you have to reduce be conscious about it it may be your tab it may be your uh, tv it may be your uh, phone reduce your screen time for that space can actually help you to first initially take the step to reduce your screen time by putting your phone aside so space is such a wonderful app i started using it for a while and it really have these features of showing you the weekly score how much time you have spent each and every single day and will also show you that day particular day we have spent a lot of time on screen so you can usually compare your score from previous week to this week and then you can reduce eventually it will be showing you the bar lines i'll be uh, inserting a picture over here so yeah space has really helped me to actually reduce my screen time it has some soothing you know um music also if you upgrade if you pay a little it's a payable pro version so yeah but if you don't want to um, take the pro version also it is fine it is really helpful to reduce the screen time i keep uh, popping up few messages in between that it is time to take a break so that actually breaks my screen time and put my phone aside and go out and see a little bit scenery because I have a lot of greenery around my home. <laughs> I am using this app since a while but I don't know the name of it. I'll directly insert the picture here so you can go and check it out in the Play Store. Well, I'll also display the name. Um, yeah, this is periodic table and it really have everything that you need to know about periodic table. It has particular description about each and every element. If you want to know who has invented that element and when it happened, what are the specific properties of it, atomic weight, atomic mass, everything that you want to know about that each and every particular element. By the way, I used to have a lot of problem with periodic table and I even suggested my students to have such kind of apps in the phone because it is really handy and helpful. You you can learn a lot about each and every element and periodic table. Every student who is from life sciences background will have problem with this periodic table to learn, to memorize and to remember these many elements and what are the properties. So this app is really handy in that case. So this is a recent app that I started using, Tidy Notes. Well, I really love this because it has two kind of, uh, uh, you know, modes that is default mode and a pro version of mode. In default mode, you can actually create those cute, cute backgrounds and write your to-do list. Basically, this app, you can use it only for two purposes. One is for to-do list, the other one is for shopping list. <laughs> yeah, you can track also a few things. You can make your own kind of uh, notes pretty much really good for daily use but for notes i don't suggest this it's a crisp idea dumping box you can say and also you can use it for to-do list as i mentioned before yeah one more point of tidy notes is that it is literally cute cute to use it has so many cute colors backgrounds and all so yeah it will be really helpful for your people who not helpful i mean fun to use actually for people who are a little bit artistic and on creative side the fourth one i'm using this since 
years i'll be inserting some screen recordings over here see i have uh, done so many notes so many presentations pdfs and note making and a lot if you don't have ipad with you then this is really helpful samsung notes can help you to make your notes and make your own pdfs and store it if you are not carrying your uh, notebooks with you so i really truly recommend samsung notes because you can write unlimited amount of notes in this literally unlimited amount of i have so many categories and you can actually divide the notes into different different categories like if it is office work you can make a different category of notes in that uh, and if you if you are working um, or upskilling about something else then you can make a notes of different category and separate it you can name them you know putting in different boxes each and every pdf you can do it that way you can separate your notes in samsung notes that is the major point which i loved major quality of feature that i loved in samsung notes so yeah i really recommend samsung notes to every student who don't have ipad or don't have tablets also with them you can just download it in your phone and start uh, writing your own notes and you can take a color print out so because you can really make your notes type your notes in a very colorful way insert pictures and then you can just take a print out of your very colorful creative notes that you see in pinterest that really motivates us to study right no long explanation of this website it is really really good actually if you don't have any one to practice vocabulary then you can just uh, memorize your vocabulary test your vocabulary by this website i'll leave the link of the website in the description box below please go and check it out play the quiz so that at least you will have some website in in your hands to practice your vocabulary every single day for improving your english so yeah That's all I wanted to mention in this video. I hope this video is really helpful and you use one of these apps that I have mentioned. So yeah, what app you felt is really helpful for you and you will definitely install it. Comment down that also which app did you like so much?